I'm glad you want to start straight away. But you know, physio can't be rushed. Sooner better. Well, one step at a time, eh? Sister told me about your fall last night. Tripped. I, I want to get out of here. Go. That, where I live. That place. That's what we all want for you, Ellie. But you're going to have to be patient. There's a lot to work on. Now, you know the drill. You're going to have to wait. Claire, work. I want to go home. Come on, rest up. You're going to need that strength for physio. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do is to improve movement. The rest will come later. We're trying. Sorry, what you're trying to do. What about my leg? As I said, it's one step at a time. First you get your balance sitting, then when you've got that, you can try standing. Then when you've got your balance standing... I know what's got to happen. Just tell me what to do so it will happen. Ellie, I'm here to help. I can't do that without... Just help. get the thing. The, 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 the... The exercise thing. Fine. I'll get back to you. Well, you must be feeling better. Haven't seen your clear room that fast in years. I'm a doctor. I can handle the truth. Good. And here's some straight from the horse's mouth. Just been past the surgery. David's taken over from the locum and everything's fine. Claire? Apparently she packed herself off to school this morning like she's been doing it all her life. Chocolate everything. I don't want her to see you like this. It's OK. David's taking care of that side of it. I think um, he'll explain when he thinks the time's right. Besides, none of us knows anything, do we? Just wait and see. Isn't that the game plan? Keep trying. That's the game plan. Uh, yesterday, I, I... I think I shouted at... Uh, uh. All I care about is Ellie Fielding on top again. What? No what ifs. That's why I'm in the faith business. Now, have I given you my card, Layton? Okay, let's get started. We're going to do this, and I'm going to be with you every step of the way. I can't take a step. Well, not yet, anyway. So let's get started. Now, what are you supposed to do? And as for David, Henry T. Ford would be proud of him. He's practically got all of the patients on a conveyor belt. Anyone complained? Not yet. They're all too bamboozled. No more. It won't last. He only needs to strike one patient like Mrs. McCarthy and the whole system falls apart. He'll be begging for you to come back. I am trying. And doing very well, too. I know. I just meant that... We'll get there. Of course you will. Sorry, I was held up downstairs. Hi, Bob. Here's a chat with all the exercises you can do at this stage. <clears throat> that one. I'll undo that one. Why don't you concentrate on the ones you can do on your own first? I want to stand. I want to do that one. Well, I'd better get going, I think. So I'll see you later. Right, well, we'll do this slowly, just to get you used to the idea of standing again. Okay, let's take this away. There we go. There we are. Feet. Feet in. There. Okay. Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. One, two, three. Lift. There. Now, how's that? Good. Remember, look straight ahead, not at your feet. Mm -hmm. And keep right. that hip in. Mm. You all right? Mm. Dizzy. Mm. Mm. Oh, silly. Silly. Of course I'm dizzy. I'm oh, fine. Yes, it's perfectly normal. You've lost motor function. It's going to take time to correct the imbalance. No, I'm fine. I, I can do this. I can do this. Stretch. There, come on. I'm sick of this. I want to do something else. You can't rush it, Ellie. 
You still haven't quite got your balance sitting. That's why you couldn't stand. I, I was dizzy. I, I want to stand now. Help me, Arthur. Ellie. I can do it. All right. Easy. Okie dokie. One, two, three. Oh, mm. Remember looking straight ahead. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's not mm. All right, let go. Ellie, you're standing for now. Why don't you leave it like that? I can do it. Let go. There must be some progress. Oh, don't misunderstand. For the extent of her condition, there's no cause to be alarmed. We've uh, virtually got... Thank you, Doctor. We've virtually got to go back to square one with the central nervous system. It's not going to happen overnight. So what's the problem? Expectation. Now, Dr. Fielding has an independent streak a mile wide. Hmm. You've noticed. There's also the emotional wear and tear to consider. Patients in this condition often give in. They think they're losing their memory, they can't walk. We've got to keep Ellie focused on the light at the end of the tunnel. And how long is this tunnel? I have no idea. Well, nothing's set in concrete with this type of work. That's certainly a lot longer than Ellie is expecting. I think coming to that realisation was a real shock. It's thrown up. Yeah, well, I thought she might have been tackling too much too soon. I didn't want to put her off. Oh. She's been put off now. She needs to get her determination back. I've tried, but she's frightened and very defensive. It really has to come from somebody, somebody who can give her that love to convince her that she doesn't need to fight this on her own. But I've already told her that. Well, she needs to keep hearing it. You've got to get through to her. If she gives up now, she, she could withdraw and never recover. I've seen it happen before. OK. Well, that child's going to keep pretty busy. So, physio didn't go too well this morning, eh? Oh, well, you can always try again. One step at a time. Isn't that what you tell your patients? I don't... I don't remember. There's no exercises. So... Not to worry. You've got enough friends around to want to help you, Ellie. You won't be able to forget that. You're a friend, thank you. Um, before the accident, how much do you remember of, of then? you and me, you know, certain things. Did we? I'm oh, sorry. Was it important? No, it doesn't matter. One step at a time, eh? And then there's the Maybloom twins. I mean, what right little terrors they turned out to be. Eric has head lice and Gareth has chewing gum stuck in his ear. Sorry. Well, you can't choose your patience. But I just want you to know that everything's under control. Yeah. Clear? It's fine. Under control. Most important thing is getting you back on deck, eh? Well, I better let you have a rest. I know how tiring physio can be. Take care. Visit payment. For all the good it did me. Well, apparently she had a rough trot for the exercise this morning. I wouldn't take it too personal. You've been here all day. Yeah, I'm not. She seems pretty withdrawn. Frustrated, actually. So you've taken charge of the surgery. That's good of you. No, it's only temporary. I've forgotten how difficult it was. What are you going to do? Try another locum? Yes, as humanly possible. She'll be spending the time with Claire anyway. 
Um, have you worked out how? Um, I mean, does she know anything yet? No, not specifics. Mummy's sick, Mummy's going to get better, and for the time being, I think that's all she needs to know. Yeah, it's a good idea, after the way she reacted last time. Yeah, I'm not sure Ellie's ready for a visit anyway. She doesn't seem to be responding physically or mentally. No, well, she doesn't remember much of anything, actually, before or after. Well, it's just a matter of waiting, isn't it? Waiting and hoping. Mummy's very busy with her exercises, sweetheart. Maybe after the weekend. No, I want to go in now. Well, you sure? I mean, last time, remember how upset you got? You got all those tubes and everything. They were scary. You said they're gone now. Yeah, well, Mum doesn't want you to get too upset by seeing her so sick. I miss her. She must miss me. You said she was all right. She is. Well, she will be. Please, Daddy. All right, I'll tell you what. How about I get us a drink from the machine? And we'll go and see her as soon as she's finished her exercises, OK? OK. <laughs> Come on, Ellie. Come on, shift your weight off your good side. No point. Let your right side take some of it. No. See? Like that. You've got to align your hips. There's no point. Look, we've already been through this now. If you want to lie on that bed and do nothing, that's fine by me. But if not, we're not going to get very far. <laughs> Something else. <laughs> There's not much else we can do until we get past this. Now, this is going to help you get your balance. Without that, you're not going to be able to control your movements or walk. We're not trying to force you, Ellie. Come on, Ellie. You can do it. Shift no, that weight. I can't. How many times do I tell you I can't do it? I can't. You made her do it when she didn't want to, when she cried. Well, they're just trying to help, sweetheart. Doctors have to be hard sometimes. But why does she look like that? It's all a bit complicated. But she can't walk and her face is ugly. What have they done to her? She's not getting better, is she? Oh, she is. It's just going to take time, and that's why I didn't want you to see her again so soon. She's going to be like that forever. That's not true. Claire. It is. Stop lying to me. Why does everybody lie I to you? I am not lying to you. She doesn't look like my mummy. It isn't her. She isn't my mummy anymore. Claire. You've said it yourself hundreds of times, and probably every one of those patients that you said it to felt the same way. You can't let it get on top of you. Yes. I can't fight it. Oh, yes, you can. Eleanor, this is me that you're talking to. OK, so you're set back on your heels at the moment. It just means that you're closer to turning the corner. For where? Look at me. Look at me. It's my future. Can't think. Can't stand. Finished as a doctor. Thank you. 